He's a fitness trainer, boxer, and son of the legendary fighter and grill maker George Foreman. Like his father, George Foreman III has fought his way to victory inside and outside the ring. In his new book, The Fighting Spirit, George shares 12 laws he's learned to help you beat anything life throws your way. You have quite the record in the ring yourself. Most of us know about your dad's record, <laughs> but you have 15 wins, zero losses, 14 knockouts. Mm -hmm. Your dad did not want you to box at first. No, not at all. He, uh, you couldn't, two things you couldn't talk about was boxing and girls uh, growing up. <laughs> and, um, but he didn't want me to box, but he heard I'd been in the gym for about a year and I told him I was about to have an amateur fight. And he said, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, if you're gonna fight, let me train you. In fact, I think it was my mother that said, hey, you better get out there and you know, check on him. Yes. And then he became my trainer for the better half of five years. Wow, so now I remember in reading the book, mm -hmm. Your first few days with your dad as your trainer were mm -hmm. not good. What did he do when he first came to train you? The first thing my dad did uh, was made me run 10 miles, actually. Oh, wow. And In boots. And I, he kept telling me, when are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? And then one day he said, all right. Let's, he bought some boots. We were driving, bought some boots, put them on me. They didn't even fit right, military boots. And then three hours later, he said, let's go. And wow. we ran 10 miles. I still have scars on my feet from that. But he wanted to know, was, was I willing to push through the pain because he knew if not, he couldn't teach me that. Wow. So now you just mentioned pushing through the pain. So we're going to talk about your book, The Fighting Spirit. Yeah. And in the book, you list 12 fight laws mm -hmm. and how we can be victorious in our lives. But it started really with a challenge from your dad. Yeah. Tell us about that. You know, I grew up uh, manage, actually travel, traveling with my father and then managing him. And we'd sit and talk about all these dilemmas. My dad's a minister. And he would always go back to, you know, fight. You got to learn to fight. You don't know how to fight. I'm like, what do you mean by this? And then when I was a boxer, he'd say, you know, this was a great champion, but he didn't know how to fight. This is mm. a great fighter, but he didn't, you know, great boxer, but he didn't know how to fight. What does that mean? And he kind of challenged me to figure out, you know, what does fighting mean? And fighting, I found, was something that happens between your ears and behind your eyes. It's the way you look at things. It's a mentality. Um, but that's how the challenge started. And so I looked to figure out five laws that govern fighting mm -hmm. in everyday life that no matter what, as long as you can follow these laws, you have a great chance at winning. And so, like I said, there are 12 laws that you actually came up with. Now, I want to read my favorite, or the one that <laughs> stood out the most to me, which was number nine. Every time your opposition hits you, make sure you hit back three times as hard. Yeah, in fighting, a guy hits you once, he scores. Mm. So you're like, okay, every time he scores, I'm going to score three. Impossible to lose. But in life, you get set back. You know, someone tells you you can't do it. You lose your job. You find out you may have a disease, whatever it may be. You got to come back and, you know, do three things to fight it back. Come back that much harder, and that ensures that you're going to win. And to me, winning is fighting. The mm -hmm. fact that you got turned around and said, I'm not running from this. I'm not retreating. I'm going to turn around and fight. That's the win. Um, everything else is, you know, please. You just mentioned um, fighting when we have health challenges. Mm -hmm. And then the book is actually co-authored by a woman named Mary. Absolutely. Mary, throughout the book, we see the transition she goes through from the day she's diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and told that basically she won't walk mm -hmm. again at some point to her actually going through this process of fighting. What did you learn, I guess, about fighting from her actual story? What I learned was that these fight laws didn't just apply to, you know, my life. And I'm, I'm a young guy. I don't know much. Didn't just apply to my father's life. It applied to everybody. And Mary's story is a great example. She had a moment where the doctors told her, get ready to live in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. And she laid on the couch, couldn't make it to her, her, her mailbox, was on 18 medications. And at some point, she said, you know what? That's not how I want to go out. That's not how I want to live. I want to live as a fighter. And she turned around and said, I'm going to do everything I can to regain my life. And what she did was she went to a, a school to learn how to eat properly, organically. And uh, within a year was off all her medication. And within six years after that, is symptom free. She goes to the doctor and says, you're not showing any symptoms. We know you still have MS, but as long as you do keep continuing to do what you're doing, you can have energy, you can walk, you can have a good time, you can play with your grandkids. Um, Mary taught me that these fight laws apply to everything. I know you watched some fighters. Yeah. What was the thing that you found most consistent in how the fighters are really able to win these fights? You know what? Great fighters just don't give up. Sometimes you have a plan, it doesn't work out. You have a great corner, that's part of it, it doesn't work out. You have all these things in preparation, your conditioning, it doesn't work out. And the only thing that lets you win is the fact that you didn't give up. And because if you don't give up, 
all the other stuff that we, the, your corner tell you or my book tells you doesn't even come into play. Um, and also, these moments never give up. You have these little moments where you're challenged to give up. Little things in life where you walk away, you run away. If you keep running away from those, when big challenges come, you're not going to be able to stand up and fight as well as you would be if you fought those, at those little moments. And that's how you win. You cannot give up. And once the other guy realizes he ain't giving up, he'll quit. <laughs> now, let me just ask you one more question, because we're talking about fighting. And as believers, the Bible talks to us about vic being victorious and having victory in our lives. And one thing that I read about you was how when you first heard about Jesus, mm -hmm. you were able to understand some things because of the relationship with the Father. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk about that a little bit and about how your relationship with your own dad mm -hmm. has impacted your relationship with God? Yeah, you know, my relationship with my father and reading the story of Jesus kind of kind of brought, brought confluence in my life. I mean, here's a guy, Jesus, who, number one, you know, God has his father's name. Then, number two, um, understands the responsibility that goes along with it and wants to be just like his father, but is terrified, terrified at what that means mm -hmm. um, to the point where he says, do I really have to do that? He knew he had something to do that was bigger than him, and it all came from his father. And... Um, that, that resonated with me. Wanting to be like your father, knowing you can never be as great as he is, but you have your duty that is just as great and, um, and having the will to do it, even if you don't want to. Um, that, that to me is inspiring. That, that's kind of what pushes me.